are out here in lovely downtown Dallas, um, get some footage, B-roll as they call it, the business of some of the of the arena, American Airlines Center, um, where one Dirk Nowitzki um, played his entire career. Um, this street that we're on right now is called the Nowitzki Way. After Dirk, we just came from a mural, which I'm probably have footage of that you can play right now. And uh, yeah, so American Airlines Center is just right over here. And uh, Dirk helped bring a championship to Dallas back in. Uh, 2011, 2011, 2011, so yeah. This is great here. I'll, I'll, I'll split the distance. It's about right. Just sitting there normal. I'm just going to frame you, boy. I'm going to use your face as his belly button. So we're at the Mavs practice facility, uh, and we're getting ready to spend the day with Dirk. Uh, been looking forward to taping with him for a long time. We've been pursuing this for... Gosh, I think my first interview or my first email with his sister was 2011. We got a guitar here that Jim was so nice to bring in. Dirk likes to play. We'll surprise him, see if maybe he'll play a little tune for us. Um, should be a good day. Jim, Jim loaned this to us. Here. <laughs> Jim, okay, Jim, I'm probably not as good serenade, as you. Serenade us. Well, I only know one song that I always kind of play. It's a little. I used to love Ben Harper. I mean, of course, he he asked me some unexpected stuff. This was, this was not just your regular sports interview. You know what I mean? He uh, he goes. It's called the show is called in depth for, for a reason. Uh, so some of the stuff I was just telling him, I haven't talked about in probably 10, 15 years, or even ever. Like five or six girls were covered, and I couldn't see them. And my job was to find my wife. I don't think I've ever uh, went through. Um, my wedding in, in, an, in an interview like that. There were two or three of them that were <laughs> sort of similar size, and I'm kind of like going, I couldn't touch them, I couldn't, I wasn't supposed to talk to them, but I think I must have whispered something in German because I know Jess speaks German, or understands German, she lived there for a year, and, uh, and so I heard her giggle. I had a good time, I gotta say. It was long, uh, but I had a good time. As a seven-footer, no car is really amazing. And are you having to duck a little bit in the car so your yeah, head well, doesn't do hit this. the... Do this. We just sat down for dirt for about an hour and a half interview, and now I drove with him to uh, SMU, where uh, I'm going to attempt to swing the racket. My last tennis playing experience was go back surfing to me with the ball hit the wall before I actually formed the racket. How do you think you're going to do playing tennis? I don't know. I didn't see the Joko clip. Last one. Well done, man. You have uh, talent, right? You, you do definitely have a talent of uh, running away from the ball. <laughs> Yeah. Let's do it. I'm glad you have a smile on your face always, right now. I, always, I, I, uh, this is, I love this. I'm trying to have a smile. Nice! What? You've been holding back? <laughs> I made contact. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, that was fun. I appreciate you having us yeah. out. I don't think I, I, I think I performed as expected. He's very clearly a skilled player and plays often. I mean, you could just tell by the practice. I have a stomach ache now, which occasionally happened on shoots. The, the anxiety starts to get a little high. Um, just, you know, when the Ingo, Dirk's, Dirk's guy, longtime friend, um, you know, was asking, hey, how long, much longer, how much longer? And, you know, Dirk seems to be having a good time. Graham's having a good time. But I keep getting asked. I keep trying to say, it's, we're getting there, we're getting there. But I can tell he's trying to wrap things up, and I'm trying to prolong them. And so I just get this knot in my stomach when that happens. And just like, all right, please hurry up, please hurry up. Let's get what we need, but please hurry up. Uh, we're going to be back here at the same complex on Sunday, although I think we'll be outside, um, for Dirk's um, Celebrity Tennis Tournament. So it's the fifth annual one, I believe. Andy Roddick will be here, Steve Nash will be here. Um, Luka Doncic will be here, the current star of the house. So, yeah, good time. We are at Dirk's uh, Charity Tennis event, and it is game day. There's already uh, people waiting for Dirk to show up. 
APA All-Star, Dallas Mavericks legend, and your host today. Great turnout, uh, amazing uh, tournament, and amazing fundraising for our foundation. We appreciate you guys coming out and supporting over the last couple of weeks and uh, and today. Okay, so we just wrapped the shoot, uh, but specifically we wrapped uh, coverage of Rukovitsky's fifth uh, celebrity tennis tournament. We talked to the big names. We got it all. You'll see it in our upcoming episode. Alright, guys, that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. Do it. Woo! Carlos, we'll see you on the next episode.